So as soon as you come in, you have the light switch and you have my alarm system. You're facing my shelf that's holding my most commonly used jackets. And I always put my keys up here so I could just easily grab it and leave my house. Down here, I have my yoga mat because I like to exercise in the morning and that way, I won't forget <laughs> if my yoga mat is staring at me. And then I have my shoe shelf where I keep my most worn shoes. And right next to that is the trash can. So this is, I guess, my little foyer area, my grab and go area. <laughs> so if you keep walking, then here's my refrigerator and the rest of my kitchen. This is, again, a pretty small space but i made it work so up top i keep my beverages and before class i'll just pack my bag i have some pictures of myself and loved ones i actually have other pictures up there but i took them down for privacy purposes um i have this red microwave to add that pop of color the theme for my kitchen was actually like boho chic instead of the glam vibe so i thought red and this tribal rug would be so 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 cute i actually just purchased this spoon holder and it matches perfectly with my theme i just wanted my kitchen to be super bright i wanted something different so i thought red yellow and other colors would make my kitchen look really cute i try to keep the counters clear because I don't want things to get messy real fast, especially while cooking. So again, this part of the counter, I try to keep clear whenever I wash dishes. I take another dish mat and lay it out there if this gets too full. I got this from Amazon. I love this because it keeps it modern and simplistic. I only wash dishes with gloves because I hate touching like dirty dishes. I tried to have like a matching hand soap dispenser and dish soap dispenser. I love the fact that I can see my living room from this view while cooking. So sometimes I'll like peep the corner and watch TV while washing dishes or while cooking. Up here, I have my plastics pretty much. So my to-go forks and spoons, straws, cups, all that good stuff. Up here, I have my glass plates and bowls. And on this side, my glass cups. I like to keep it fancy. Over here, I keep like my cans, my rices, and my box goods pretty much. I told y'all I cook a lot. <laughs> Up here, I have my mugs, my shot glasses, basically all my custom cups. I think it's so, so, so cute. And over here, seasoning, sauces. This is like my tea shelf i like to drink tea down there is pots and pans that's silverware miscellaneous i keep like my plastic cups and bowls down there and i keep my cleaning supplies down there this is my laundry room So yeah, my kitchen is pretty simple.
So here's my couch set up. Um, the theme of my living room was supposed to be like subtle glam. So I have hints of gold and silver sprinkled throughout, but it's really supposed to be simplistic and minimal all at the same time. That's why I have, you know, my pinks, but I also have my whites. So let's start here with the couch. I got the couch from Wayfair. Y'all know Wayfair has like pretty good quality starter couches. I got this really cute pillow from Ross. I got this blanket from Target and I got that pillow from Ross. I got this really cute glass table from Ross and that side ottoman from Ross. So pretty much, I'm not gonna say everything in the living room is from Ross, but a lot of this is from Ross. And I believe I got that from Burlington or TJ Maxx. This lamp is really, really cute. I don't even wanna tell y'all what I went through to get the perfect matching lamp for my living room. It was chaos, to be honest. But this is my living room setup. This couch is super comfortable. I fall asleep on it, like, on purpose. <laughs> I like to keep my remotes right there just because I don't want to clutter my surfaces or my tabletops. So I just put them in the window sill. Here's my wicker basket where I keep my blankets. It's really for decor, but I do use them. Here's my desk. I got this wicker basket from Target and I got the desk from Target. And I'm pretty sure I got this chair from Burlington. I bought everything when I moved down here, so I was able to perfectly match up everything to my theme. And my intent was to have like white furniture because that opens up your space, especially when you have like a small apartment. So I am in dental school. Here's my notebook that I like to keep on my desk as I jot down ideas my laptop. I actually just bought that case off Amazon. Here's one of my teeth models because I am in dental school and my Alexa. Hey Alexa. Oh, she already know her name. <laughs> in my drawers, I try to keep it simple. I just have this basket and some notebooks. Right down there are my study cards for boards. We have to take that after our third year. So I'll probably film a what's in my dental school book bag video. Comment down below if you guys would like that or any videos similar to that. This is a really cute gold clock that I got from Ross. There's my balcony. My diplomas, FAMU, Meharry, my plant, Ross. So, love this TV stand. And I got it from Goodwill for like $10. So don't sleep on thrifting, y'all. It's like good quality. And it's just what I need. I got these um, picture frames from Ross. Y'all, I love Ross. <laughs> like, that's my stuff. So this is one of my favorite parts about my living room. I have these really, really cute stools from Amazon. They go right along with my glam theme. They're gold with this fur on top. Very cute, very comfortable. So this beautiful, beautiful mirror is from none other than Ross. And it was such a steal because I believe I paid no more than 50 or $60 for it. It's really heavy and great quality. And I'm so glad that I found it to complement my theme. And this is my countertop area with my candle of choice burning. I love that I pretty much can see straight through the kitchen because it allows my living room space to open up. 
well that's pretty much all my living room has to offer i love 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 my living room it's so freaking comfortable and so cozy i couldn't ask for more Um, my bathroom is pretty small, as you can see. Um, I pretty much just have room to be at the sink, the toilet, obviously, and the shower. To compensate for that lack of space, I purchased this three-tier drawer organizer from, I believe, Burlington. I keep like my basic necessities in here. This is like my daily needs. So brushes, combs, and uh, shaving cream, shampoo, conditioner. This is like my medicine drawer. So like healing purposes, band-aids and cough drops and stuff. Um, that drawer is like my menstrual cycle items. So on here, I kept it simple. I just have this candle from Yankee Candle and this plant from, um, what, what is it? I don't even know. I think Burlington. I believe I got both of these from Burlington. Okay. This shower curtain, I absolutely love, I adore. I've owned this shower curtain since I was uh, a freshman in college at FAMU. Like, I love it so much. It's like a black girl magic type of um, curtain with all these really cute aspirations. Um, like it says, different, diva creative smart like just i just love it but when i do move into my new apartment i want a white shower curtain because i'm just in love with the minimal look and how much space i feel like white and neutral colors give okay so here i'm not really good with towel decorating but i just have this white towel again to open up my bathroom because it's so small i have this eiffel tower i've had this since my college days as well um this tissue holder okay so here's my sink again very small so i decided to keep it very minimal like i don't have anything on here um besides my soap dispenser and my perfume tray i keep everything else in here like even my toothbrush i try to keep in there so on my perfume tray i have my tiffany and co my burberry my Gucci, uh, Versace, and Juicy Couture. And this is just my full size bottles. I have like um, travel size sprays that's on another tray in my bedroom. But these are, I'm not even gonna say my go to's because I honestly wear my travel size sprays just as often. But I rotate. Like, I don't even, like, whatever I feel like smelling like that day, that's what I put on. Um, there's not really a favorite. Honestly, I'll, I'll say this is my favorite. This is my most recent. And then my soap dispenser, nothing fancy about that. Regular towel. Yeah, I don't, I'm not good at hanging up towels. I'm, I'm gonna get into that when I move. But yeah, nothing special. These lights are pretty cute and like they're great lighting. Um, I love my bathroom. When you walk into my bedroom, all you see is my bed, my bedside table, and my TV with my dresser on it. So again, because this is a smaller space, I decided not to crowd this room with furniture and I wanted the colors to basically be white and neutral. 
to open up this room a bit. So let's start with this bedside table, which is probably the most interesting part of my room. I decided to keep the top very simple. I have a picture frame of my mom and dad, a candle, a little flower vase, this really cute lamp, it's giving glam vibes. and this humidifier that my best friend gifted me. Below the bedside table, I have this jewelry box that I keep my bracelets in and the rest of my perfume collection. This is pretty much either what I wear to bed or grab and put in my purses when I leave. I have a watch back there that I don't wear that often, but that's what I have below. So I got the bedside table from Target. I got the lamp from Home Goods. And that picture frame is really, really old. I don't know where I got it from. This comforter is super cute, super comfortable. And I just really want it like a fur look. I have the centerpiece in the middle. That's the only thing that I have on my walls. I did that on purpose to focus the attention in the middle of my room. So this bed is actually not a bed set. Again, since I bought everything when I got down here, I had to hurry up and figure out something. So I think I got this headboard from Wayfair. Um, I think I got the box spring from Amazon. I got the comforter from Burlington. These pillows right here from Ross. And everything else came with the comforter. I got this stool from Ross. Now this basket is the only like color in this room. <laughs> I got the basket from Ross more than likely. I got this side rug from Burlington and I used to have a mirror right here in this corner, the one that's in the living room, but I decided to put it in the living room because it made getting ready a little bit easier. So that's my bedroom. Right there is my balcony. So this is the only form of entertainment in this room and I don't even use it. I don't watch TV that often. When I do, it's in the living room. But I got this dresser from Target. I definitely stayed on theme with my white. Another reason that I didn't put my desk in here is because I wanted my room to be my sanctuary in a sense. I didn't want to have anything that's stressful in here. So no schoolwork, no studying, no books, nothing that will add to my stress belongs in my room. My room is simply for sleeping and that's it. And actually, I think that's a great method if you want to increase your productivity at home, separating your work from play, keeping your bedroom your sacred place works really well for me. So this is my bedroom. Hey y'all. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching my first room tour. Well, my first apartment tour video um right now i'm about to head to the gym or whatever because new year new me no i'm just playing i've been going to the gym but i'm just trying to stay consistent or whatever but i have more videos coming soon i want to be consistent with youtube because i like sharing my life i think i'm a pretty interesting person i mean I can be or I can make it look interesting you know and I like editing and just tech stuff like I'm I'm multifaceted 
like I love uh, creating there we go but um I hope you guys like the room tour I keep calling it that I hope you guys like my apartment tour and if you don't I don't care because I like it um go ahead and like and subscribe and more videos will be coming soon I want to get y'all more invested uh oh I want to get y'all more invested in my dental school life. So, uh, people, is all in my video. Make sure you tap in with my skincare business. I sell body oils, hair oils. Look at the skin. It's glowing, baby. Body butters, uh, face cleansers, all of that, baby. www.sunkissedskin. See? Very much sunkissed. Sunkissedskin.com. Um, and the Instagram is at Sunkiss Skin, and then I'm on TikTok too. So go ahead and tap in. Okay, bye y'all. Let's stop holding back on this and let's get carried away. Stop making a big deal out of the little things. Cause I got big deals and I got little things. Got everything I'm asking for, but you.